Okay, so we're back with GeoGebra, and this time we're going to use uh, GeoGebra to help us decide whether or not a shape is a parallelogram or not. We've been studying slope, and we know that parallel lines have the same slope, and we also know that GeoGebra can help us figure out the slopes of lines. So I'm going to introduce a few new tools, and then we're going to go ahead and uh, complete the activity. So first of all, remember that uh, the finger down at the bottom allows us to move the graphics pane around. Up at the upper left, I can turn the grid on, which I'm going to do. The uh, sidebar, which shows us the algebraic representations of our objects, we can uh, reduce that by pressing the arrow. And so the new tool that I want to show you is this point tool. It's the second button down uh, in the lower left with the letter A there in the dot. And if you select it, and we're going to choose the first tool there, which is just the A and the dot, this allows you to use your finger to plot some points. So let's start with a point like negative 3, 3. If I tap negative 3, 3, I get a letter A there. And if I hit the arrow for our sidebar, you can see that uh, it shows us the algebraic representation of that point, which is negative 3, 3. I'm going to close the sidebar again with the arrow. Let's put a few other points on the screen here. Uh, let's make a new point at 2, 1. There's a dot, letter B. Again, I'll just show you that the uh, algebraic representation is in the sidebar. I'm not going to keep doing that all the time, but just want to remind you that it's there. And let's continue. Let me go with 0, negative 2. And how about negative 5, 0? So I have these four points. Remember that uh, whatever point selected, if you want to change the properties. You can change the color. Like D, I can make red. Uh, let's get crazy here. Let's select B. And we'll make B uh, green. Just messing around here. So I have these four points. And uh, we can have GeoGebra connect these points with segments. The third tool over on the lower left is our line tool. Uh, between two points. If you click that, there's different kinds of lines you can draw between two points. You can draw a complete infinite line, which goes through those two points. And then what we're going to use is the segment tool, the second one over. Notice it has uh, dots at the end of the segment. And it allows us to select two points like letter A and letter B, and it'll connect them with a segment. That's why they call it the segment tool. Let's go B to C, C to D, and D back to A. So we have this quadrilateral. In geometry, you're going to find out that a quadrilateral is, is the shape that has four segments uh, for its sides. Okay, Quadrilateral means four sides. And what we want to know in algebra class is, is this thing also a parallelogram? And you probably know that a parallelogram has opposite sides which are parallel. And we learned uh, earlier that you can have GeoGebra tell you the slopes of these lines. So I'm going to select that slope tool. Down at the bottom, in the middle, you can see the angle tool. And if I select the rise over run on the far side, I can have GeoGebra tell me these slopes. So I'm going to click the segment that connects A and B, and I'm going to find out that the slope is negative 0.4. That's a negative slope because it goes down from left to right. And the rise over run, you can see, is um, down 2 and over 5. That 2 fifths reduces to 0.4. Let's see what D to C is, that bottom side. Let's see what the slope is there. Sure enough, it's also negative 0.4. That tells me that those two sides are indeed parallel. Now, to complete the activity, we're going to select B, C and find the slope there. That's 1.5. You could say that's up 3 and over 2. 3 halves is 1.5. Let's do AD. Slope there is also 1.5. And so what we've shown here in this particular activity is that we do have a parallelogram because the opposite sides are parallel, meaning they have the same slope. Let me just show you one more thing uh, before I end this video. Uh, if I select the finger down at the bottom again, not only uh, does it allow me to move the screen around, but I can also zoom in. If you use two fingers uh, on your tablet and you spread your fingers apart, that'll zoom in. And if you want to zoom out, you use two fingers and push your fingers closer together. So we can zoom in and out with GeoGebra 
uh, in the same way that you probably have worked with your uh, devices to zoom in and out on other apps. So there you have it. We just discovered that uh, we can figure out uh, if a geometric shape is a parallelogram. Good luck.